Hey, my fab and funky friends. Today, we're going to take a little journey back in time to the 1970s to do a sort of funky sort of TV detective show using only the Contact Factory Library. Are you game for it? Good, let's get stuck in. So I'm dressed the part, I think, sort of. Actually, I've got even better sunglasses than this somewhere with some big, really embarrassing gold ones. But I think my children confiscated them because I threatened to wear them in public. And if I did that, they'd have to leave home. Now, do you know what? I think that colour wall light behind me, which was my... Look, I've got remote controls for my... Remote controls are the colour of the wall. <laughs> I think that's too subtle for this. Don't you think? Are we going red? We're going red. OK. Right. Did I just land on this idea by accident? Uh, sort of. What I thought actually was I wanted to have a look at the contact library um, because a lot of you have got it, obviously, and I thought, well, what's it good for? And I started having a little sort of meander through and I thought, well, we're always doing orchestral stuff. Let's have a look at something slightly different. This is the full contact factory library. There's a light version, but I thought we'd have a look at this one. Um, and I started playing through, and I thought, oh, the urban stuff, it's sort of, it's not very good. Um, I haven't looked at the orchestral stuff very much, um, but then I came across the band stuff, and I thought, actually, this might be quite fun. So I started looking at some of these sort of... It's all right, it's not bad. And I played around with this one. I mean, like a lot of factory libraries, it doesn't have a huge amount of character. It's perfectly, um, you know, approachable. It does the job, does... That's better. But I am drawn to... Let's go with him. Um, so I thought, yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Um, do you notice I'm in logic today? I should have a whacking great L on my back because, as you know, I'm a world master when it comes to logic. No, but I, I, I can make it work, but it's not my... I thought, what the hell? Let's just leap into logic for a change and shake it up a bit. Um, what was I going to do next? Oh, you've got to have... So how are we doing with the electric piano stuff? Look, they've got quite a lot. You've got clavinets, you've got Fender Rhodes, you've got Whirly EP200. I owned a Wurlitzer EP200, a real one, back in the day when I used to play in the band. And it was absolutely the best fun ever. Um, and my friends who had Fender Rhodes, Fender Rhodes weighs more than three dead cows. And so most people who had a Fender Rhodes were built a bit like this because they had to carry them around. But now I just select the preset and I don't even have to raise a finger. That's, that's how I pick up my Fender Rhodes these days. <laughs> okay. I can hear a lot of you sympathising. Oh, I remember that. It's all right. It's not the best, but it's all right. Uh, I'll be going with suitcase. The one you allegedly could carry. Suitcase, put a body in it. That's better. Okay. <laughs> Before this 70s cop fest gets out of hand, here's a word from our sponsor. If you want to write better music, better tunes, more interesting chord progressions, and fully develop your ideas, then check out my online course, How to Write Music. Six hours of video tutorials, free downloads, a supportive online community, and a comprehensive course text. Take your music to the next level with How to Write Music. God, it's so good, I'm going to buy it. Shall we just start putting some stuff down and see what happens? What am I going to start with? Ah, I have got a kit down. I was going to get put a kit in. Now, because of the way the... For some bizarre reason, I'll show you something. When you load up kits into the... From the factory thing, here it is. They've got some perfectly decent kits. Uh, but for some reason... Bling, bling kit. What's a bling, bling kit? It's, it, does that make you think bling? Not particularly. It does this thing. It, it, you can't just have it on one channel. It's really irritating. Um, so, central stage kit. 
Yeah, yeah. So far. So Dread to think what chocolate city is. Okay. That's not so bad. Okay, let's... Platinum Plus, I suppose Platinum Plus. Oh, it's taking longer to load, must be good. Why would you put snap on that note? Okay, it's all right. I'm not, you know, am I? Oh, that's very ordinary. Oh, no, it's not very ordinary, it's just, it's... I prefer that. Uh, have a bit of a... I should put some crashes on the end there, really. But, um, uh, um, let me just, nah, let's just remind, I need to remind myself of the most basic stuff, like how does the, um, okay, I want to take the snapping off, smart snap ticks, okay, let's do that, I want to move this earlier, having con, Really? But it boom boom. That's not very flammy. That's because it needs to be. Oh, don't start at the beginning. Hang on, just turn off my loopy thing. Okay, that'll do. Look, this is. Okay, right. Now, how are we going to get into the funky groove? Okay, um, what's this one again? Uh, Whirly. Oh, no, it's not. It's Rhodes. Herbie Hancock, George Duke, eat your heart out. Ladies and gentlemen, that was rubbish. <sighs> I'm not really very good at it. It's going to stay. <laughs> Two layers of the sunglasses of doubt go on today. 
That and a slurp of tea. I don't think Crockett and Tubbs ever slurp tea or shaft. It's a little bit, oh, could I have a nice cup of tea? No. He would have caught more villains, maybe, if he had. Right, <laughs> I think today I'm going to keep the sunglasses of doubt close at hand. Right, let's add another funky sort of thingy. Where are you? Right, one more, come on. We've got to get some more stuff going on in here. Get it, get it going, man. Dude, right, okay. Um, what else can we get in there? <sighs> clavinet. Horn, Honus D6 clavinet. clavinet. Uh, overdrive war. I'm going to go auto wire lead. Clav. It's this kind of. <laughs> Stereo water wire. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I just felt a blast of 70s air flow through my ears. Okay, the clavinet is where the theme is coming from. Um, do you know what? If you actually listen back to some of the 70s stuff, it's played as tightly as anything. Sometimes, if you go back and listen to film scores recorded in the sort of 60s and 70s, mm, not so much. You'd say today, oh, good first take, boys. Ooh, you know, have another go. Um, but if you listen to Tower of Power and people like that, oh, God, am I showing my age. <sighs> okay. I, I, you know, I quite like this. I'm having quite a good time. <laughs> Imagine some some detectives are walking down the road, say, yeah, or whatever they do. What do they do? What were they doing? Was it schmarch? No, driving around. This is driving around slowly. Music. Hmm. You know, one arm out the uh, the uh, sort of all that kind of thing. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's explore the guitars. <laughs> Is that a guitar? Or is it a can of baked beans? It's hardly... That is terrible. And putting a K on the end of electric doesn't save it. Sorry. <sighs> Jazz guitar? Don't mind if I do. Now, it's a shame when you... You go like that, you don't get the, woo, 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 the um, what do you call it? Uh, you're all shouting at me, not tremolo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Never mind. No, 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 Not even slightly stoned in the 70s would you get away with that. Uh, actually, you probably wouldn't. Um, solo rock guitar it is definitely not. Uh, what are they going to do with a funk guitar? The funk guitar, which comes with the complete thing, is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much I don't like that? So we're not scoring very... OK, we're going to go back to jazz guitar as the least offensive.
Oh, I know what we could do. We go, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I've got an idea. So if we assume, let's just drag all these out to another time round. So the first time through, driving down the road and I've got my going down. Whatever. See what I mean? So we can do the second time through if this sequence has to go on longer, which I think it does. Just a little bit longer. Whoa, just a little bit. <laughs> Don't play instruments unrealistically. It's, I know people do play um, lines in octaves on jazz guitars, but it just... That sounds good. Much better. Oh, that was disappointing as well. There's hardly any pitch bend on it. There's utter toddle. I have this thing I do with my elder daughter when I'm playing along she's singing I try and sneak in the Peppa Pig theme <laughs> can we do this <laughs> Yes, we can. You can always sneak in. Thank you very much, Julian Nock. You are a genius. And uh, uh, thank you for letting me rip your tune off. I can't. Oh, I'm in trouble now. I can't get Peppa Pig out of my head. Ah, that's a real problem. OK. Come on, grow up, be a professional. I wouldn't be doing that if that was true. It's not a very guitar-y thing to play that, is it? Look, it's going all right. I tell you what, look, don't get bogged down with your jazz guitar. Okay, so now we're going to add in a couple of lines. What else? What else? What else? And then I'm going to call it done, and then I'm going to go off and arrest somebody. Because uh, that's the kind of thing people do. And then they go and drink a lot. Uh, okay. <laughs> Horns, yes. Uh, uh, trombone section. Ah, look. Oh, I discovered something, actually, before. Look. You've got lots of articulations on this. Shorts. Have they got falls? Oh! That works. That works. I like that. Um, how do I control it? Oh, like that! I can just right click on it 
and then assign it to whatever I like. OK, so now I'm going to have to go and put that in. OK, that's, 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 that's not the worst thing that's ever happened. Let's just get rid of that really dodgy one. Really dodgy one now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's overrun by three beats, so I need to move it back by three beats. Now it'll fit. What I'd really do. Is bounce it to audio and take that initial support sound away. But the truth is, I've forgotten how to bounce things. <laughs> I bet I just right click or something. Bounce and join, bounce in place. Who knew? Okay, I take it all back. It couldn't be simpler. There you go, just get rid of that. Job done. <laughs> Okay, I think we need another layer of uh, brass in here. If we're going to go with the full-on Tower of Power sound, with the <laughs> Contact Factory library, yeah, we're doing a full-on Tower of Power sound with the for Contact Factory library. What could possibly go wrong? I wish I was a better musician. It would be really good to be able to play this stuff really well. We're definitely going to save our brassness for the second half. I just played something really, really bad. Really? Yeah, yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> it's really awful. The rest of it's sounding all right, and then I tried to do this sax line, and it's so bad, I had to call you in. <laughs> Isn't that awful? <laughs> it's not exactly Tower of Power. <laughs> Go back to Oakland, you boys. Have, have you Did you get that? Did you get that joke? <laughs> back to Oakland, their best album. Okay. Have you got the um, breath control? No, well, that would be a good idea. Another day, another day. <sighs> Where were we? Right, we're going to finish this now. Okay, I have, a, I have half an idea of how this might go now. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the 70s revisited whatever. That's it. We're done. I've just ruthlessly decided we're done. Thank you.
that's it. I think that's it. That'll do. Look, um, I hope you've enjoyed that. <laughs> if you've enjoyed it, remember to subscribe down the bottom and all that sort of thing. <laughs> and we'll be back, you know, with something else, uh, with some more loud shirts and uh, so loud shirts and gentle music. So from me, Big Guy Mitchell Moore. See you next time.